talking, uh, of course, uh, about the MSG Sphere oh. in Las Vegas. A lot of people don't even know that this thing is called the MSG Sphere. They just know it's that big, crazy circle thing in the middle of Las Vegas. It is nuts. And so I thought it was worth, and, and, and you know, actually, before we go any further with it, just so that people know kind of what we're talking about, let me uh, let me show you what I'm talking about here. So the MSG Sphere is this huge concert venue, indoor entertainment thing. But the exterior, it is a sphere, and it has the ability to project all kinds of crazy images. It's all like a giant video screen, basically. And uh, you, you can see my screen, correct? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So you can see just, you know, some of the things here that have been projected onto this. Giant, and as you can imagine driving down the street and just seeing this. This is the inside. So you have all of the seating in this round place, and then it's they have the ability to do incredible things. But of course, some of you have seen, like, it's movement. So, I mean, we could bring up video, and this eyeball blinks and things like that. There's all kinds of different things that the MSG Sphere has the ability to do. And it is incredibly cutting-edge technology. I mean, yeah, obviously a giant snow globe. So... The stuff that they have the ability to do with the MSG Sphere is pretty insane. And I thought, like, just a, a little bit of a review. So this thing was going to be built years <laughs> back. And they thought originally, like, might be a billion dollars to be able to do it. And then COVID happens and supply issues and everything else, and it goes nuts. So total cost ended up being $2.3 billion dollars. $2.3 billion is like what what hotels have traditionally. My goodness. I'm going to go ahead and mute you there, uh, Hefe, while, while there's uh, active dog fighting happening. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a wild world out there. Uh, so $2.3 billion is like they have built hotels and resorts for, for that amount of money. And they're doing that now with just a concert venue. But the MSG Sphere has 17,600 seats, 168,000 speakers, speakers, 168,000 speakers, and 1.2 million LED lights. And so they're saying, and this is some of this is from uh, our boy Joe Pompliano on Twitter, that the MSG Sphere could do $25 million a year in business from exterior advertising alone because they have the ability to project that thing and it's seen by the entire city of Las Vegas. So it can do over $25 million a year in annual revenue alone and they're already working to build a second one in London. The thing that I thought was really interesting too is that New York Knicks owner James Dolan is the mastermind behind the MSG Sphere. Now, for those who don't know, James Dolan is kind of a universally despised guy in <laughs> NBA circles. He's known of as one of the worst owners. People hate him. He's super petty. He's had people that have complained about him thrown out of the arena. People have hold signs up that, that he should sell the team. He has them lifetime ban, everything. But this is something that could probably uh, change his image a little bit. So, yeah, so it's it's pretty insane. The inside has a 250-foot-high screen with 360-degree views all the way around. Uh, and so now they're doing, like, a huge... It's going to be a huge concert venue. I think U2 is the first uh, band who's going to be performing there, opening the MSG Sphere. And it, that happens in September. They're doing 25 shows there. And... They have all of this incredible stuff. I mean, to, to be able to go to watch a boxing match there or anything else, it's going to be insane. And you guys, have, I, I know, have seen like uh, with the NBA, the Summer League has been going on. And uh, I think I may have shown that already. But if not, I can bring it up that they have like one where they just made it into a gigantic basketball. Uh, and that's exactly what it looks like over the, over the entire city is just a huge, you know, NBA basketball uh, to be able to to kind of show off the MSG sphere. And in fact, I'll bring it up right here. Yeah. 
Is that coming up okay? There it is, yeah. Yeah. So it's just craziness. I mean, what they have the ability to do with this thing. So you guys have obviously, we've talked about it privately. You know, you see the Twitter videos and stuff like that of the MSG sphere. I think a lot of people thought it was kind of a joke at first. But what do you guys, what do you guys think of it now? Like, I would be very curious to see something there, see an event or something at the MSG sphere. Yeah, I, I, it's pretty cool, I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> like, I, it's just, <laughs> how distracting is that? I mean, all those hotels around there, how absolutely distracting would that be? You're trying to sleep and you look outside, all you see is a giant eyeball blinking at you. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. I mean, I, I think once you see it, it's kind of like, meh. All right. There has to be car accidents of people driving around. I, I mean, around yeah, when you this. see I mean, people taking pictures driving in on the main the main drag there. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just got to be so many rear end accidents yeah. happening there as if there's not already. So yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think, Cafe? Was so, it was it built when you were out there? Because you were out in Vegas not long ago. Yeah, I I go to Vegas at least once a year now. So um, I've been seeing it from the beginning stages all the way through to when even the last time we were there they were doing test lights around it um it wasn't operational like it is now but you would you would you would see um different portions of it whether they had lights going all the way around it stuff like that but the thing the thing that to me that's so wild about it is it's so clear the amount of led lighting the way that they they have it all set up and the projections that it, it gives off it's 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 quite a sight, man. Um, I don't know if you like the, the the picture of the eyeball. Like, if you were to look at that, like that's pretty freaking clear. Oh, like yeah. it it is scary. And one of the funniest things is that at the win, we've all we've all been to the win. Um, mm-hmm. I, I don't I don't know if we've ever if you guys have ever stayed there or not. But but Jeff, you golf. There is one of the most <laughs> expensive golf courses in america that is built it is the only golf course that is basically on the strip right and mind you it the amount of money to make it so green and luscious and to look the way it is is just it's the win you know they spent and spared no expense on it but while you're playing golf there is this giant eyeball that is looking at you while you're doing that now jeff i know you're saying that like like Okay, you're staying in a room and then the lighting of it, but it's Vegas, man. What they're going to be is like, oh, you want a room with the view of the sphere? That's an extra $100 mm-hmm. a oh, night yeah, to sure. stay there. So now you have that added cost to every hotel that's in the area that can be seen from when you open up. Because trust me, you can see that damn thing from just about anywhere in Vegas. It is that freaking big, man. I, I think it's it's pretty it's pretty badass. Um, you know, it's probably the only thing that Dolan will ever and his family will ever be uh, recognized for because Lord knows they can't do anything with the Rangers and they ain't doing anything with the Knicks. So yeah. the New York Knicks are trash and the Rangers, you know, have had their moments and stuff like that. But they'll never be in New York. They'll never be thanked for whatever it is that they've done with those teams. However. With what you said, Tad, and them creating, they already have the land and the uh, space in London to create another one, and that's like mm-hmm. number two, and they still have plans of doing more. I don't know, man. Personally, I think it's cool. I think it's great the way it looks, and if your concert experience is, is turns out to be what they have imagined it to be, uh, I, I think I would try to get in and try to see a show because um, it might be overloaded and stimulated like a lot, but I think it'd be worth going and seeing and checking out. Yeah, yeah. I, I would be very interested to, to see what it would be like. Yeah, I think I, I, mean, I could see maybe inside, like concert wise, if they're doing yep. something cool in there. I just, I, I don't know, just looking out to see a, like, even when I saw the pictures, I was like, eh, that's kind of neat. But then, like, it's a freaking giant eyeball. Like, what's it? <laughs> well, I mean, who cares, right? Like, I don't know. I don't get that excited about it. It's an eyeball. <laughs> and, and you're right. Like, to golf at the wind, that's, a, that's probably like, on a good day, you're going to get in there at six hundred at six hundred dollars yep. for a round yep, yep. of golf. That's that's a good day, and it goes up exponentially. You know, depending on the season, the time of the depending year, yep. on the time. You know, even depending on time of day, uh, what part of the 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 week you're in. I mean, so imagine golfing and all you see is this 
gigantic <laughs> eyeball blinking at you <laughs> as if golf isn't hard enough now you got the pressure of this big eyeball staring at you <laughs> over your uh your 30 foot putt for double bogey you know <laughs> <laughs> Well, so the golf course you're talking about is Shadow Creek, of course, uh, yep. there in Vegas at the Win, And so, you know, you were just talking about what that cost. So Shadow Creek opened in 1989. It was originally Steve Wynn's private club. <laughs> they later opened it to a limited number of MGM hotel guests. And at that time, this is sometime after 1989. So whether you want to say 90, 91, sometime in the 90s as they made it more available, the greens fee was $500 in the 90s. So I have no idea what it is today, but I'm sure it hasn't come down any. So yeah, I think right. five, 600 bucks is is, uh, is bare minimum of what you would probably spend to be able to play Shadow Creek. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's so, crazy though. It's a cool, it's a cool thing. I just, uh, I mean, I, I would think it would lose it. Uh, like, it, the inside's going to have to obviously offer a lot more than just being able to make a giant snow globe on the outside. So I guess we'll see how the inside does, how they do with that. It sounds cool. I, I definitely think a concert would be in there. I'm not sure I'd want to see you two as my first uh, concert, but right. you know, you know, I, you know, Taylor Swift. Oh, anyone? she swizzle. Let's there go. go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Set up, Set up a yeah. residency and let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is like to give you just a, an image that they have from the inside. Now, I'm sure like at a show, this is, pr- you know, probably computer generated to a degree. But can you imagine? Like, that is, can, I don't know, cool. Tad. I mean, yeah, that's got to be computer generated. But I mean, if you're looking at the actual pictures from the outside, how they look, why wouldn't they look just as crystal clear yeah, on the inside? 100%. You, you know? Yeah. 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 Uh, you'd think more so, being that it's probably a little bit smaller of a circumference that they'd have to work with and yeah. maybe more of a flatter surface. So it's impressive. I, I, I'm not knocking it. I, I just, man, you're going to have to sell a lot of concert tickets to get that money back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then they said advertising 25 plus million. Like, who, what? What are you gonna have? Like Chico's bail bonds on the outside of that? Like what? Like who's? What's aver? Like what? They what, could. what are the advertising gonna be though? Uh, I, I just I wonder what that's gonna look like. And then look, do you want a? I, well, I don't even know how. You don't big want to the, cheapen it, right? So how big is this thing that you're just gonna see a huge giant billboard of you know crypto.com or something <laughs> on there? You know. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a, so the inside, the screen inside is 250 feet tall. So in terms of the outside, I, I don't have the number right in front of me, but I mean, it's got to be, you know, it's clearly more than that. So, I mean, right. we're talking if it's yeah. 500 feet tall or something like that. I mean, it's, we're, it's huge, man. I'm telling you, it's really big. Uh, yeah. Imagine you that can see it from a lot of places. An advertisement. Like I understand they said they're going to get up to 25 million for advertisement on the outside. But I mean, imagine that being just a giant billboard uh, I, I, and they might, if, if it doesn't do well, they're going to have to turn it into something like that. So I think it's kind of risky, but uh, it's cool. Uh, I mean, not my money. So good on James Dolan for, for doing this weird that that dude would have that kind of uh, foresight for something like that. Well, I mean, look at that. Look That's, at that. You can see, you're you can see the screen. dimples. You can see yeah, the dimples yeah. in the basketball, man. And the NBA paid for that. They paid to have that there all week while the while the uh, summer league is going on. Yeah. So there he's already making money. On the like you see it in relation to the size of the other buildings around it and stuff. I mean, it's so big on the horizon. It's like the size of the sun. It's so weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so distracting, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's absolutely insane, man. Do not Look, jaywalk in Vegas anymore. I can tell you that much. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll be there in October. I'll, I'll get you some live feed from, from uh, what, it, what it looks like. 